Aluminium is, unfairly in our view, labelled as a lesser frame material to the fanciest sounding carbon fibre. But that isn't strictly true in many cases. A good quality aluminium frame will provide a far nicer riding experience than a cheap carbon frame. Here are six of the best aluminium road bikes that we have ridden and reviewed. Now, before we jump into the video, remember to pop a like on this video and subscribe to see more like this. Now, our first bike is one that I myself had the pleasure of riding, and it was the perfect reminder of just how good aluminium frames can be. The Condor Italia RC disc is nimble, twitchy, and exciting to ride fast. Aimed at racers, the frame is stiff and very well balanced, providing direct handling that makes the bike great in tight corners. The Campagnolo Chorus group set impressed me with its braking and snappy shifting. But if you'd prefer something else, don't worry you can choose whichever components you want. The Italia RC Disc is available to buy as a frame set for £1,199.99, or with a fully customizable spec, allowing you to build the bike on Condor's website to your budget or component preferences. This means that you get the perfect bike for your riding or budget straight away, without making compromises that you want to change at a later date. A few miles of riding left me in no doubt that this is an out and out race bike. The frame and fork are stiff, a rather tight wheelbase keeps things fun, while the 8.2 kg overall weight is very respectable for an aluminium disc brake bike. The lasting impression is that this is a tremendous road bike and a gorgeous one too. Trex Imonda ALR5 disc offers you a whole load of bike for your money. RoadCC's tech editor Matt Brett was the reviewer for this one, and he said that despite Trek wanting to talk about how light and responsive its Amonda bikes are, the standout quality of the ALR5 disc is the ride quality. This is one of those bikes that's never flustered. It handles rough roads without any drama, which is just as well, because there are plenty of them around our way. The bike also stays fully planted on sketchy corners, and I have to say I agree with Matt, those rough roads, ugh. You'll still get people telling you that an aluminium frame is harsh. You're going to get beaten up in the saddle and all the rest of it. Forget that. This bike is in no way uncomfortable, even if you're riding for several hours at a stretch. The Amanda ALR5 disc is one of those bikes that manages to be greater than the sum of its parts. Check out the spec sheet and everything says that it should be solid, but the ride quality is comfortably above that. If you're expecting a harsh ride, you're in for a lovely surprise here. The Triban RC520 women's disc road bike is incredibly versatile, offering a comfortable ride on our increasingly poorly surfaced roads, and is quite simply serious value for money. If you're looking for a bike that can handle the daily commute, as well as take on some gravel trails and a bit of touring, the Triban is well worth considering. Just be aware that there are limitations with its geometry. It's not a racing machine, for example. The aluminium frame is well up to dealing with the roughest roads and comes with a lifetime guarantee. It isn't the perfect bike by any means, but the important bits have been nailed. And when combined with the price, this leaves no doubt that this is a cracking road bike. The spec is a little basic, but it is perfect for getting you started in the world of road riding. And it'd make an excellent winter or faster commuter bike for riders looking to save an expensive bike from harsh winter road conditions. Cannondale's CAD bikes are always the first bikes that we think of when asked for buying advice on great aluminium road bikes. Matt was again the lucky one that got to review the CAD 13 disc, and he says that the CAD 13 disc 105 bike represents far more than a quick update for Cannondale's aluminium race bike. Drag has been reduced, versatility has increased, and the ride is more comfortable than ever. This is a really impressive revamp and an excellent alternative to carbon. The CAD 13 isn't so much a revision of the CAD 12 as a complete overhaul with new tube shapes and a frame silhouette that bears no resemblance whatsoever to the early years of Cannondale CAD bikes. Bleary-eyed traditionalists might lament that, 
but one of the results is a bike that feels more comfortable and chatter-free than ever before over poorly surfaced roads. You're not totally isolated from what's going on beneath your tires, of course, let's not get silly about this, but the ride quality is high and not much annoying and ultimately energy sapping vibration is transferred up to you into the saddle. Even when you're spinning through the most neglected gravel strewn back lanes, the whole feeling is very composed. The CAD range has long been one of our favorites and with the CAD 13 disc, this remains the case. It may well sit at the lower price point of Canyon's endurance bike range, but the Endurance Al Disc 7.0 shouldn't be considered a stepping stone to the carbon models because it's a great bike in its own right. Its aluminium frame is tight, and with the buzzy feedback of a sorted metal frame, it's fun to ride whether you're chasing PBs or just enjoying the scenery. Back in 2015, Stu Curtin tested the Endurance CF 8.0 and came under some criticism for being slightly underwhelmed by the whole feel of the bike. It wasn't that he didn't like it, he actually thought it was great, but he found the carbon frame took a little bit too much away from the ride experience. It was almost too good at removing road buzz and feedback. The aluminium version gives back that involvement while offering the stable handling and great geometry for those longer rides where performance might be secondary to comfort. Canyon bikes aren't the absolute bargain that they once were, but they still offer very good value for money. And the Endurance Al Disc is one of the best options at the entry level price point. Looking for a no holds barred racer? The Alle Sprint is one of the best options out there. And Stu Curtin got to test the comp model with rim brakes. His thoughts? The Specialized Alley Sprint Comp is an aluminium alloy masterpiece. The ride quality is impressive and the stiffness is right up there with some of the most overbuilt carbon wonder bikes. Its welding isn't the prettiest and if form must match function, then you might be disappointed. It's also lacking a bit when it comes to the finishing kit, but you do get a decent group set. Specialized describes the Sprint Comp as a crit racing weapon, a fast bike that is going to give you plenty of thrills and excitement when you just want to get out and smash the pedals. Its handling is spot on, quick enough to keep you on your toes and get you out of trouble in the blink of an eye. But when you don't want your life to flash before you in a frenzied blur, it's sedate enough to take on the smooth and simplest corners without fuss. The LA is still a very nice bike to ride, not plush but hardly harsh either. This isn't just an hour long blast kind of bike. You can cover some decent mileage without feeling beaten up. This is a quality frame capable of mixing it with the best alloy race bikes out there. And the price reflects that, even if a lot of specialized bikes can look overpriced on paper because of their kit choices. So aluminium bikes, they can serve those of us on restricted budgets while catering to riders with very deep pockets. We still think that it's a fabulous material for making frames out of, and we can't see that changing. If you like this video, then give it a like and subscribe for more. Thanks for watching.